Hi everyone. Well, next project on the go here. I got the uh, loader off of the 584. You can see there on the on the ground, black top. You can see there this cylinder's leaking terrible. Mostly leaking right here out of the gland gland nut, but it does leak on the seal. And this one here leaks around the seal. It's awful rusted, but uh, I'm pull these uh, cylinders off, hopefully tonight, and uh, take them and either repack them myself or have somebody else do it. So I uh, thought I'd bring you guys along. So let's see if I can get to you all somewhere. You ain't gonna see a lot, but uh, we'll try to get the pins out of these things. Let's see what happens here in the front. Where can I put you? I don't think these are going to come out very easy either. Pretty much done with the loader for uh, for now. Um, don't really have much plan to use it for for a while, so I thought I'd get at it, get this fixed because I'm tired of it leaking everywhere. So anyway. Oh, that one's stuck. Forgot my rag. Let's see what we can do. There we go. That one's going to come out. Alright, I'll bring you guys back. Get a little penetrating on put on them. Hey everybody. We're back here on the uh, loader project again. I can't get this pen out. So I brought the hot wrench. We're going to warm it up a little bit and see if we can get her out. This pen's really stuck, so we're going to warm her up, see if we can get her out.
still ain't coming. Not coming yet. But you're working on it, huh? Moved a little bit. Alrighty. Well, you can see punches drove through. The cylinder's hanging on the punch. You can see what that pin looks like. This cylinder here, I don't know if you guys can see. No. Um, the hydraulic hose is in the way of the grease fitting. And uh, this one never got any grease. Uh, when I got it off, I'm going to drill it and put a different a different uh, put a fitting in it. So what I'm going to do now is I have this, the pins in the back driven completely out. The cylinders are hanging by the chains. So what I'm going to do now is start the tractor and uh, suck the cylinders in. That way there's not so much oil in there. I'll bring you back. I'm going to unhook the hydraulic lines and then I will take the hydraulic lines off the cylinders. Alrighty. Stick these hoses off. Uh, it takes a 3 quarter and 7 eighths inch wrench.
This is going to make a mess. Wind's blowing 50 mile an hour. Running oil everywhere. The gloves are getting slippery. Can't turn the end. There we go. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can get this one completely out. There we go. Let's see what happens. There's one. Alrighty. I'll bring you back. Alrighty. Whenever I buy hydraulic hoses, I throw the ends in this little container. Some are threaded. Uh, this, this kind of stuff comes in refrigeration lines at work. I keep them for just such as some Cajuns where, see, I screwed uh, a two that I could screw in, two males, a couple that I just pushed in. Um, those two I'm going to put uh, duct tape on, keep them in there, try to keep from making such a big mess. Alright guys, um, I think that's going to be enough for uh, this video. I'm, I'll, uh, I'll try to get you some video of uh, rebuilding, repacking them cylinders. Alright man, thanks for watching.